In 1900, Lord Kelvin, an influential British physicist, famously proclaimed that physics was over, except for two small clouds on the horizon. Within a decade, everything changed. As anticipated, the two problems Kelvin had raised were promptly addressed, but they proved anything but minor. Each ignited a revolution, and each requires a fundamental rewriting of nature's laws. These clouds turned out to be clues that led us to both the quantum theory and relativity theory. And now, we tend to proclaim that cardiac function assessment is over. Except when we open the echocardiography textbooks, we will find tau is continuously mentioned briefly. The left ventricular diastolic time constant tau is the most established index to describe left ventricular diastolic function, but no pragmatic method is available to measure this value in daily clinic. Will tau be the cloud proclaimed by Lord Kelvin? For circulation system, the heart is mainly to provide energy to make it circulate. In terms of cardiac function assessment, we really want to know how powerful the pump is. So far, we have to give up this reasonable intention due to limitations of echocardiography. Which is capable of measuring dimension and velocity instead of pressure. By the aid of simplified Bernoulli's equation, it is possible to measure pressure briefly during two short moments, provided there are either aortic or mitral valve regurgitation. The two moments. Are isovolumic systolic period and isovolumic diastolic period. Discovery of tau is the harbinger of an all-new wonderland, where we can assess the cardiac function in the point of view of pressure. Mein Rein launched the first tau measurable echo machine in 2017. The preliminary application is exciting. Tau directly related to how powerful the muscle is during active diastole. Roughly, it can describe the severity of diastolic dysfunction. This slide shows how we do tau measurement in daily clinic. From special tau to general tau. Shortly after we published the formulas to calculate tau, we realized there should be general tau's. The table below shows all the equation groups used to calculate general tau's. These figures show how to do the measurement for the calculation of general tau's. From general tau to symmetry, symmetry of cardiac function assessment is becoming clearer and clearer from initial blurred vision. It implies two layers of symmetry: one is left and right ventricle; the other is systole and the early part of diastole. Next, I can show you some applications in daily clinic. For example, Pi index, also called myocardial performance index, which means it can describe both systolic and diastolic function. With symmetry in mind, we know Pi index can only describe systolic function. If we need to describe diastolic function, Pi index. 
has to be modified accordingly. Some researchers investigated this new approach and further proved the symmetry is a great idea. We suggest it is time to drop the name of myocardial performance index. Another example is symmetric DPDT. On top of left ventricle and right ventricle DPDT, now we know there should be diastolic DPDT. More adventure is on the road. You are more than welcome to join this adventure with your time, energy, and expertise. Let's see what the future will bring us.